In that last example that we did, we analyzed this circuit here using um, node voltage analysis techniques. And we got to this point where we had defined the node voltage variables V1 and V2 as the voltages at these points relative to the reference. We went, went along and we wrote the two node equations and then we got to uh, the point where we had combined like terms and then we moved forward getting ready to show um, or to uh, enter them into some sort of linear system solving software. So what I'd like to do is show how we can, taking the system of equations in this state, we can use MATLAB to do our calculations for us. So let's bring up MATLAB here and start by defining the coefficient matrix A equal to square bracket. Now we're going to let MATLAB do the calculations for us. Our first column in A will be the coefficients on the V1 terms. So we have then um, one-fifth plus one-twentieth plus uh, one-tenth. Now, we either put a comma or a space there to separate that first coefficient value. And we need to close it with a parenthesis, first of all, then comma, space. The second uh, coefficients are the V2 coefficients in the first equation. Let's come back here and just see what, show you what we're doing here. I'm entering these values here as the coefficients in the coefficient matrix A. So the second entry was minus 1 divided by 10. And that was supposed to be a um, parenthesis there, minus one-tenth. All right, those are the first two values there and minus one-tenth. So now we come down and put in the coefficients from the second equation. That's negative one-tenth. So I need to terminate this with a semicolon. Terminate the line, come down here, a new line, parentheses, negative, parentheses, negative one divided by 10 close parentheses, comma, parentheses, um, let's see, where is it? One divided by 10 plus one divided by 15, close parentheses, and then close the bracket there. So, there's our A matrix all calculated for us. And it corresponds to the coefficients of this linear system. Now we need to create another matrix involving the two constants. So bring this back here. We'll call that the B matrix. B equals square bracket, three semicolon, two square bracket. Now, you don't need to put the onto a new line, but because the B vector is a column vector, it's nice to make it so that it looks like what we expect it to look like. And let's just go ahead and run it, and you get 3 and 2 there. Now, MATLAB has a function called inverse. So let's say that V then equals inverse of A multiplied by B. So what this is going to do is it's going to take the inverse of the A matrix and multiply it by the coefficient matrix, and that will give us then the vector containing the V1 and the V2. And because the first column of A contains the coefficients of V1, the first value of V will be V1, and similarly the second column of A contains the coefficients of V2, so the second value in V will be the values of V2. We go ahead and run that, and we get those values. So V1 is equal to that, V2 is equal to that. And those are the same values you'll recall that we calculated in that example. Now MATLAB, MATLAB has a couple of other ways to uh, solve this system. Let's use the reduced row echelon form um, function that MATLAB has. To do that, we need to create the augmented matrix. We'll call it... Um, I don't know, A, A, U, G for the augmented A matrix, which consists of the A matrix, and we augment it with the B matrix. 
Now let's take a second and just look what we've done. We've got the A coefficients in the first two columns, and then I put comma, so I'm still continuing on and I'm creating a third column that consists of the constants in B. So if we run that, you'll see those are the two columns of A, and then we've put the third column on there, uh, augmenting it with the, con with the constants. The reduced row echelon form function in MATLAB is just called RREF. We'll pass it A, A, U, G for the augmented matrix and execute that. And we now have the reduced row echelon form, one in the first column, first position, one in the second column, second position, and then those values there are the same values that we got from the previous calculation, 14.42, and uh, so MATLAB's our friend, we use him freely.